Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Idle Heroes. We are on the free-to-play account this evening and uh, uh, I kind of, I, I sit there and I think to myself, man, the temptation is real, right? There have been, there was just so many, um, I want to say, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you. It's better if I show you. Look at all these packages that pop up. Like, I got all these growth packages popping up and saying, spend me. And I'm like, I want to, I do, but I can't. I'm not allowed to. Even the Vessel one, even though I don't feel like Vessel is truly worth $60 at all. I mean, technically, I, I did buy one of these in the beginning. Um, I just want to let you know, though, it is a complete gotcha. You uh, you, you do not need to spend at all on any of these packages. Um it's very very short to short term minute progress gain from doing it um trust me from someone who likes spending money on this game i know uh a lot of people just die off uh for spending after a year into it they basically stop spending um yeah that's pretty much the truth most uh most whales either quit the game or they uh revert to free to play so in reality, you don't really need to spend very much to enjoy this game. Now, I wanted to do today's task. So I'm going to do some of these ones while we talk. I wanted to attempt to finish out my shelter mission. Ooh, we got a Norma. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take a Norma um, and see if I can get the additional dice as well as, of course, the additional heroes to the stable, which is great. And then I kind of wanted to see whether or not we could get um, further with the... I kind of want to see how far we can get with the actual Monopoly event. Now, I know from personal experience that it's it's heavily RNG dependent. Uh, I mean, I could get really, really great RNG, but so far I can already tell that it's pretty shit because I haven't landed on any fucking mushrooms. And I'm going to explain why you need to, to land on the mushrooms, but basically I haven't been landing on the, 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 the freaking mushrooms. So it's like, sounds like Mario Karts, right? For those that don't play this game, you're like, what in the world are you talking about? You're just tapping all over the screen like a madman. Um, but let's cut it down for you. So basically, I got the scary copy, okay? So I've already done one. Um, oh, we've got a faceless. Interesting. We've got... A emotus there so for the shelter mission right we do need to make some um uh, exchanges here i did do the scary one behind the scenes i was just impatient i'm sorry i'm not really sorry <laughs> but i need to i really need the vessa I, I want the vessa i want to be able to build the vessa we can of course build old mate here once we get a shadow and I feel like we're just able to do you. Yeah, so we're going to actually use On Guard because, let's be honest, On Guard is On Guard. Um, not that great compared to a penny. So we already got the penny. Now, we need to do a couple of things. So we actually need to get a five star to exchange that for old mate um, Horace. So I need to be able to get one more copy. Interesting. So I need these four copies of the warrior class in order to exchange as the base rate. And I need an additional copy of a shadow faction hero. So what I reckon we'll do is we'll see what that one gets us. And that was a Lemmy get on. That was abyss. So... I generally do this. I generally buy these ones out in order to fulfill the contracts for the shelter missions. Um, if you're on a newer account, I would recommend investing the small amount of gems required to do that. Just because the heroes that you generally get are, are worth it uh, in terms of I, a, a, e.g. a Horus is worth 120 gems any day of the week. Granted, you may need to spend... A little bit of gems in order to get the warrior ones but i think we've already kind of covered it or at least we did in the previous video what four class four star heroes you need so horus is a warrior so you need to 
basically you need to swap out warriors so we've got grumpy corpse which is a warrior down here um where else do we have we have the bone general and we do have the nightmare knight as well so i want to say shadow faction has a pretty decent outcome when it comes to being able to get the warriors um means rng is in your favor <laughs> that's really what it sums up to there are other classes that really have shitty fucking odds in terms of getting uh the ones you want to get so be grateful horus is not one of them um but we of course need to exchange a five star and four of the faction type which is going to be um warrior warrior and shadow and then of course we can get the horus for that and last but not least Vesa, 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 Vesa. What have you done for me lately, Vesa? Um, I want to say that we can probably get a copy from here. But if we can't, I'm going to show you the other way to get them. And it is kind of expensive. Oh, Cargath. Um, you know, I'll just show you. So what I would do is I would buy the branches. So 600 branch swatch swaps. Um, basically you want to jump into your profit orb tree and then you want to hit, so this is the orb function and this is the branch swap function. So essentially you want to go down to the hero that you want to be swapping out for. And in my instance, it's going to be Kargath. And so I'm really just going to be hunting for a priest, which vessel is. So there you go. First swap, we got it. We got a priest. So we're going to save. And then we're going to forget about it. We're going to keep those branch swaps for later. Um, but we already got what we wanted, which was another priest. So, so far, so good. I feel like we're crushing it in terms of being able to complete this event. Uh, Faceless is not going to be turned into a six star. So that's okay. So we're going to get Vesa. That pretty much means we've, we've got it. We've got the additional gear sets. We've got the additional heroes. They're chilling in my bag until I pull them out. Um, in terms of this, though, this is never worth it. Don't worry about light and dark. It's it's just not really worth it. It's not really worth it, even on the accounts that where it could be worth it. It's, you know, um, you don't really want to spend on that. But hey, Vesa, you are looking yummy. You're looking yummy in all the right ways because we are actually going to be able to get a full copy of you, which means Six Star Vesa is going to be a huge possibility unfortunately the uh brave trials is closed so i can't show you that yet i will be able to show you that a little bit later on um that's okay that's okay that's fine so where do we stand in terms of dice so we've got 23 dice i did manage to get myself a lucky dice off screen um just rolling my dailies i am happy about that because then we get to demonstrate some of the tactics um, but in terms of being able to make some a progress here, so we can buy 20 more. We should have enough gems. It's going to cost me 3,000 gems. Is it worth it? Probably not, but we've just done it anyway, so oh well. <laughs> what do you reckon we're going to land on? We're at 39 stars so far. We have none of the mushrooms upgraded. You wouldn't believe how triggered I am about that, but it's it's a thing. And then, of course, we managed to get the worst one ever. Oh, yeah. We got tricked at the hut there. We finally got one mushroom upgraded. Let's see how far we can go. One, two, three. So whenever you're in a situation like this and you do have a gold dice, for those that are new, you want to not spend your normal dice, so your white ones. You actually want to go one, two, three. So if you spin your little dice here, you are now going to land on that lucky dice again. So basically it gives you like a free rotation or not spending a dice at the lower section of the map. Um, and that kind of works out well, especially because you want to be able to get as many rotations on the board as humanly possible. Now, when you land on the green goo down here, if you count it out, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a perfect roll. It's a perfect roll when you land on the green goo because then you just rotate around and of course, you're going to land on there. Finally, we get another hut. That's brilliant. Um, this is this is probably the worst and best at the same time. <laughs> and you'll see why. Oh, finally, we got a copycat. I say finally because the first time 
they've got the copycat. Um, so the copycat allows you to mimic your dice throws. Rule of thumb, it is 10 from here. From this node to the, the gold dice, it is actually 10 rolls. So you always want to like, <laughs> trust me when I say, it, put that in a thumbnail somewhere in your mind and say it's always 10 rolls for the clover and the copycat or the lucky star. If you do land on the fortune hut and you do have yourself a lucky dice, it is always 10 rolls to get to the corresponding lucky dice roll. Um, hey, we've got another one. That's actually not a bad hut. Um, I wonder what you'll roll me now. Bugger. Oh, we did land on the bottom one. So it's two up from here. <sighs> Things are starting to look up. I don't, I don't want to be, I want to be optimistic, but at the same time, I'm a realist in this game. Just loves to screw me in the end. Uh, wow. We did land on that again. Um, we are, we're not doing too bad in terms of the lucky hut at the bottom, actually. Um, Kind of evens out with these single rolls and then skips all the juicy bits. But uh, if we get a six here, ooh, we got the worst hut. It's the karma hut. And it's going to roll me forward. Oh, yes. I have a theory. If you roll a six in the karma hut, it always rolls you forward. Everything else rolls you backwards. I know that's probably not how it works. But for me, it seems to work that way. Can you give me an... Oh, it gave me an energy chest. So just... Quickly, we'll jump out and show you what that is. Where are you? So if you land on that little uh, hut where you get to select a card, sometimes you'll actually get an energy chest, which is not too bad. So early game, uh, that purple goo, man, that is like the best thing in the world to get. Um, that's actually going to really help me advance my characters um, without having to dip into my bank account, <laughs> i.e. my... Um, Gem reserve, one, two, three, four, four, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So you can get some cool things, uh, and I'm grateful the game is at least showcasing some of those cool things while we do this. Now, third time's charm. Ooh. So this basically means we can't get any of the resources that we landed on because of that black cloud. We did manage to finally max out the bottom row, which is the hardest one to get. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far though, I'd say, Ooh, interesting. Interesting. What are we going to do? Why'd you have to do me like that? I knew it. I freaking knew it. And I knew, I knew it was going to do that to me again. Oh, finally. That was a risky one. I hate getting stuck in that loop of hitting five and five again. The game does do that to you. Now, the question is, do we roll with the one or do, do we risk it and maybe get a double dice? Or what do you reckon? I reckon we risk it. Uh, hey, we got the promotion stone, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm just going to keep telling myself that. <laughs> oh, no. What can we do? No, please. Can you stop giving me this stupid hut? Uh, every damn day. No, no, we want the six. So let's roll the six. So there we go. So what do you reckon? I reckon we got to 110 uh, stars. What do you reckon we got to? Oh, we got 162. Okay, I was lowballing that something savage. Um, interesting. So we're, we're close to being able to pull off the puppet. I feel like the puppet is a guaranteed, which is really going to help us in terms of making some progress towards getting that uh, first 10 star. Um, but the selection chest may, we will see because there's at least, I want to say, so tomorrow, which is another four, then uh, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So that's 12 more dice, 12 more dice to get how many? 12 more dice to get 38 stars. I mean, I don't want to say it's it's not doable, but it seems a little sketchy. I mean, we do have that lucky dice, which might be able to tip us over the, the, uh, the edge. Um, we'll see how we end up. Of, of course, on the last day, we're going to be doing some uh, upgrades and build if we don't do one before that, I mean, we are slowly but surely collecting some of the um, 
copies that we need. I might as, we might as well make a Roy. Let's just make a Roy. Uh, get a five star up there. What other ones can we make a five star? Uh, I feel like that's probably the only one, which is fine. Which is fine. But we are making some progress in terms of being able to begin the process of building some of these five stars up. I do want to potentially take Penny out of the bag. Um, I'm actually going to wait for the Profit Orb event, which should be, I, th I feel like the Profit Orb event is next week. So I want to wait for the Heroic Miracle in the Profit Orb event. So before I pull any of these out, kind of just want to chill and, um, you know, keep them in reserve. I guess it can't hurt us looking at some of these things, though. I mean... If we did land a KB, I'd, I'd feel like obligated to build KB on this account. Same with Garuda though. I mean, if we ended on a Garuda, a Tix, uh, a KB, or what's the other one? Garuda, Tix, KB, or Nosuke. I don't, don't really want to build a Nosuke. Um, mainly because I've got an e, a, E3 and Nosuke on uh, Infamous Bacon. So I'd probably be able to cover most of your inquiries about building him to e5 first uh, on that account um granted it's not free to play though so i don't know if that counts probably not let's see what we get fingers crossed i'm not gonna look oh it's a sheer damn it sheer why did you have to drop um i feel like that's not a bad thing in terms of food wise. I wouldn't be building she. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you know, she's okay. She's she's an average hero at best. But I feel like that's. I think we're on track. We're on track to being able to start to make some six stars. Uh, we did get. We did get. Where is it? We did get some of these resource chests, which is not bad. We did get a dirty skin chest. Uh, so. Depending on which main, I want to say main E5 we pick, then we're going to pick the skin out of that. Um, hopefully, you know, I wouldn't mind building KB. I'm not going to lie. I would build KB if we got some KBs. He's just a hard hero to get. That's the problem. Uh, he's not, I mean, they're all pretty hard heroes to get. <laughs> but uh, in terms of me being able to progress with him, um, yeah, that'd be interesting. KB. I don't think I would do a Nosuke though, because I've already done a Nosuke on another account. So it's kind of a toss up between Tix, Garuda, and KB. But if you want someone else, please suggest it in the comment section below. Um, I will flip a coin. <laughs> I'll do some heads and tails. I'll see which one we land on. Um, but honestly, I feel like the way we're going to potentially pick it is um, who we get first. I'm going to be real with you. Whoever we get first is probably going to be a good indicator. That's why I didn't include Penny and Horace in the selection pool because it's kind of a an obvious choice. But yeah, I don't know. Depending on who we get first, maybe then we'll select that. What do you think? Is that is that a reasonable way of deciding it, letting the game decide it for us? Um, so if we do get a Garuda, if we do get a KB, if we do get a, a Tix... Um, Maybe be real quick and put down your selection choice in the comment section below. So then we know if we get one of those, um, we will be able to do that. I won't for this, for this brief video section, I won't include Penny and Horace. So if you do want to see me build a Penny and Horace, let us know. And then we can see whether or not one of those does drop in between. I'll do a 10 bomb. I'll do a 10 bomb. Let's see if we get something. Let's do it one at a time. Ooh, Grumpy Corpse. I like that. Yes, you should be saving these, though. Don't do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just doing it because we can, and we did get it from that event. Um, okay, we didn't get anything. We did get some four-star food, though, which I can't really complain about because we do need some four-stars and three-stars food. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you thought that was a little bit quirky, a little bit fun, let me know. Share some likes and love. And, uh, yeah, please at least give me some options here on the first e5 to build um but in terms of the monopoly event i think we did pretty good uh hopefully we will manage to finish it out i will of course be doing an update video towards the end of it as we build some of the heroes to, towards the nine star direction um 
so far I feel like Vess is my choice for first to nine star because her and Starlight are probably the easiest copies to get. Um, but after that, you know, all bets are off. Just depends on how we go with the um, Profit Orb event and everything else after that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.